Okay, so that definitely didn't go like I planned. The reason we vibrate concrete is to eliminate all the voids and air bubbles. Concrete with air bubbles and voids is not nearly as dense or as strong as concrete that's been vibrated. This is especially important for structural things like walls or support columns. We built this form to represent a column and put a piece of clear plexiglass on the front so we could see what happens when the concrete's vibrated. I tried to mix this concrete fairly dry. You can see how hard it was to get out of the bucket. It was coming out in clumps. I used this backpack style vibrator. It was totally overkill for this small job. Because it's so powerful, I barely revved it up so the form wouldn't blow apart. It was cool to see how much air started coming out of the concrete right away. And it settled a good two or three inches from the top. Finally, one of the form warts did split in half. If you're planning on vibrating concrete, I recommend making sure your forms are reinforced. It definitely puts a lot more stress on them. Let me know in the comments if you have a concrete horror story.